Hey, so I've built this set of edit and workflows that will not only do lead generation, it will also do lead enrichment and then it will do email follow-ups and will also send out connection requests on LinkedIn and will finally do LinkedIn follow-ups. And every detail, every detail that I'm talking about is being saved on this Airtable table. So we have this list of company domains where we have the list of companies that we want to reach out. Then we have leads, all the leads that we want to scrape. This is for just one company. Then we have an email queue, all the email follow-ups that we're going to send. We have this LinkedIn queue where we are also storing if you have sent them the connection request, have you sent them a message? Has the message been received or not? Then we have this customized follow-up settings. So you can define how many follow-ups you want. It's only up to you that if you want five follow-ups, what should be the gap between them? Everything is customizable. So in this entire video, I'm going to show you how we build this, how the entire flow works. And I will provide link to a Gumroad page where you can download all of the workflows. You can download sample data so that you can use this workflow for your own business. So watch this video till the end. So hey everybody, I am Prakash Gupta, founder of Small AI, where we're running this AI automation agency and we help a lot of business make a lot of money by using AI automations for their business. So we have made a lot of videos on a lot of NITN workflows. So click on subscribe button as well as like this video if you want to learn more about NITN as well as AI automations. All right, moving on to this automation, what we have is we have a set of three workflows. First is the lead generation as well as lead enrichment. Then we have email follow-ups and then we have LinkedIn follow-ups. So this lead generation looks like this. Then we have this email follow-ups, which again is divided into three parts. First is going to be adding email follow-ups in the queue, sending emails. And if the user has replied, then we are also storing that state. The third workflow is this LinkedIn follow-ups where we are sending connection requests. We are adding the follow-up messages into the queue and we are also then sending out LinkedIn messages from that queue and everything. Everything that I'm talking about is being saved on this particular Airtable. So you can see everything, email queue, LinkedIn queue, leads, company domains, follow-up settings, everything we're using Airtable for it. Great. So before we move forward, let me give you some whiteboard therapy on how this automation actually works on the logical end. So this is the entire flow. So we have divided, again, as I mentioned, we have divided this into three parts, lead generation, email follow-ups and LinkedIn follow-ups. Starting with lead generation. So we have a list of company domains the company domains that we want to target. So we have this two point digital agency whose company domain is, is this. Now what we're going to do is we are going to send each domain to Hunter.io. Hunter will get me the list of all the employees that are working in this particular company. And it will also give me designation, their LinkedIn URLs, their personal emails, and a lot of things. So Hunter.io is the main tool here. Now, after we have this list of all employees, we are going to filter out the people who are the decision makers because we don't want to send out these cold emails to anyone. So we want to make sure that we are only reaching out to the decision makers of the company so that we can pitch our own product to them. Next, since we already have the LinkedIn URL from Hunter.io, we are using the scraper from Rapid API. I'll link it in the description, which helps in scraping the LinkedIn profiles just in a single click. After we have done the scraping, we have list of employees. We are simply adding all the results into this air table. So you can see that in this air table, we have the name, we have email, then we have these checkboxes, which has email follow-ups replied on email. And I'll let you know about each checkbox in the next. Then we have this designation, which is coming directly from Hunter.io. Then we have this company name, we have their LinkedIn URL, and here we have the enriched summary. And you can see that each summary is particular to that particular human being. Why is that? So what we're doing is we're scraping the entire LinkedIn and then we are feeding this to an open AI LLM model and which is creating this enriched summary. So if I walk you through the automation right now, what we're doing is we have this manual test workflow right now. We can set it to scheduled as well. And we're getting a list of domains. You can see that we have 1395 domains here. Next, we're looping over each domain. We're getting the mails, email IDs for all the users on this particular domain using Hunter.io. Then we're filtering out these human beings based on the decision-making ability. So in this code module, I've added a few filters. So we are checking for CEO, CTO, CFO, and all these parameters. Now using these parameters, I have filtered out the list of employees. For all the filtered employees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this LinkedIn scraper. So I have this rapid API LinkedIn scraper, which where if I pass on the LinkedIn URL, it will scrape their LinkedIn profile. And then we are sending this entire thing into this agent. And this AI agent will then generate an personalized summary, which will then be used for, to create personalized cold outreach emails. After we have everything, we are saving this to Airtable. So if I give you an example on Airtable, here's the lead table. And you can see that we have name, email, and everything that I've mentioned before. We have the enriched summary as well. So this sums up the entire lead generation flow. Moving on to the second part, which is the email follow-up. So this is the email follow-up where we have three workflows. 
each workflow has their separate task. So the logic that I'm using for this is for any cold outreach, we have to send out multiple emails so that we can get their attention. So now to do now to send out multiple emails and also to make it dynamic so that the user can define how many follow ups they want to send out in this table. To make it dynamic, what I'm following is I'm following an email queuing system. In this table, in this email queue, if you check, we have for one email, we are sending out four follow ups. So you can see that this is my email where I have set out four stages of follow ups. So you can see this is stage zero, stage one, stage two, stage three, and we have the schedule date. When do, when do we need to send them? And then we have the subject as well as the body of the email. And now a user can manually check it if they if they agree that this email is fine, only then we are going to send it else. We are not going to do it. So if I check over this entire email follow-up system, so this first part is only adding emails into our air table. So here you can see that we are getting a list of follow-ups that needs to be created. So the logic is this particular checkbox is checked. That basically means that we have created all the follow-ups for this particular email. And if it is unchecked, it basically gets this list here and will loop over each and every user that for whom we need to create these follow-ups inside the loop. I'm getting two things. First is the follow-up settings. And second is the lead information. So after we have this information, we are generating follow-ups. The, the number of follow-ups totally depend on the settings page. So if you check out this particular prompt, you can see that we have added how many follow-ups do, do we need to create. So it is getting this particular count from the JSON table. Moving on, we are creating this queue and adding it to the air table. So for each lead, I'm adding four emails in the queue of this particular email queue table for each stage zero, one, two, and three. And the status will be set as not checked so that manually when the human will check it only then we will only then we will send out these emails. Awesome. Moving on to the second part of this email workflow, which is sending out emails. So now that we have the entire schedule of all the emails that need to be need to be sent out, what we're going to do is we're going to check for all the records whose scheduled date is today. So in the email follow up system, what I'm going to do is queues for today. In this table, I have simply added a check which gives me all the records whose scheduled date is for today. We loop over each one of them. We checked, have the user reviewed this email? If they have, then we set it to processing. So you can see this email follow up system. We have this processing table, which simply signifies that we are sending this email right now. As soon as we have sent the email, we are updating the record to sent. So in the air table, we, we will uncheck this box and we will check the sent box. Awesome. Then we have this wait module and it, it will keep sending out emails automatically. The last part is, which again is a very interesting part. If the user has replied, then what do we need to do? So of course, in any follow-up system, if the user has responded to our email, that basically means that we do not need to send out any emails in the future. So for this one, what we have is we're getting out the email thread. So when I send out an email, I'm saving the thread ID and I'm checking on everyday purpose. Have we received an email from this particular guy? If we have, then we don't send out any emails and we simply check this particular box here. So this basically signifies has the user replied or not. If they have not replied, then we keep sending out the follow ups. But if they, if they have, then we need to delete the email queue from the email queue table so that we don't send out the unrequired follow ups. Awesome. This sums up the entire email follow up system. Moving on to the LinkedIn follow up system, which again is divided into three parts and the parts are different now. So first for any LinkedIn message, you need to send out a connection request. So for the LinkedIn connection request, we're using Phantom Buster and I'll provide the link in the description of this video. So what we do is as soon as a lead is entered into our CRM, we have this particular checkbox as unchecked. It will get all the LinkedIn profiles whose status is unchecked and will send out a connection request using Phantom Buster. So this is the first part. Second comes out the LinkedIn follow up queue. So similar to email system, like we're sending out like we've created an email queue. We are also creating an LinkedIn message queue. So in this LinkedIn message queue, what happens is it's a very similar thing. We simply get the list of follow ups that needs to be created and we get the settings and we create follow ups for LinkedIn and add them to this particular queue for each one. We are adding four follow ups. So this was the second part. Next is sending out LinkedIn message. Now sending out LinkedIn DMS is again being used through Phantom Buster and you can find the link in the description. So using Phantom Buster, we are sending out personal DMS into the LinkedIn profile. Awesome. This sums up the entire lead generation, lead enrichment, email follow-ups, as well as LinkedIn follow-ups flow. I hope this video provided value to you. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you want all these flows, you can get the link from the description of this video. 
do check out my youtube channel do click on subscribe and there are a lot of ai automations that me and my team is building so feel free to book a call if you are interested in a customized build for your own business all right i'll see you in the next one